Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is, if you could throw together a soundtrack for your favourite book, which songs would you choose? Well, I've been thinking about this since the topics were announced and I can't think of a favourite book. There are books that I would read several times there are books that I've read several times that I'd read again, but there isn't a single book that I'd choose to have if I had to only have one book that I previously read and I could never reread another book. So I'm going to choose to answer the more general putting together soundtracks to go with books because I can't have a favourite book to try and synchronise things with. And Anyway, well, it's outside my skill set. I have a basic understanding of music theory. Obviously, I have musical types that I enjoy or don't enjoy. There are songs that I like, songs that I don't like. But thinking about soundtracks, soundtracks for films and so on, I when I'm watching the film, the soundtrack supports the film, it becomes part of the whole, but if I listen to a soundtrack album on its own, often it's not very engaging. And so it will be difficult for me to pick songs that fitted because you're not looking for songs that you really love you're looking for songs that go well as a support mechanism, an enhancement to create a gestalt between whatever the story is and the music. I don't have the skill to do that, so I'd either be picking songs that I loved, in which case my focus would be split between listening to a song I really loved and the book, or I'd pick songs that didn't catch my attention, in which case I wouldn't know how to pick a song that I didn't like because it would fit well with the book. I don't have that skill. So I'd have to leave it to a soundtrack designer, really. But thinking about it further, making a soundtrack for a book I decided it was the thing I'm potentially least likely to ever do because reading a book is the time I'm least likely to be listening to music. I listen to music when I'm working. I listen to music when I'm painting, browsing the internet. Potentially, I'll even listen to music while playing computer games and turn off the built-in soundtrack to listen to my own instead. But when I'm reading a book, it's pretty much the only time I'm not listening to music as well, apart from when it's a film or a television program where there's already a sound component to it. And if the television is on in the background when I'm reading, my immersion into the story isn't as deep. So I wouldn't want to design a soundtrack for a book, particularly a book I loved, because it would split my focus. So again, potentially a professional could pick music that didn't split my focus. But the difference between a book and a film is the film, there's a fixed speed. The scene starts, the events happen at the points the director has set them to happen, the scene ends. So the music can start building up to a particular point and hit each of those marks because they're fixed points. But when I'm reading a book, I start chapter one. I read at X pages per hour. Reader Y reads at Y pages per hour. Reader Z reads at Z pages per hour. But it's not even that smooth a curve. I'm reading at X pages per hour, but that's averaged across 
the times when it's really flowing and the times when I take a pause to go and fetch a drink from the kitchen. And so even if you linked the music somehow to the page speed on an e-reader, how is the music going to know in advance that you're going to stop to go into the kitchen to get a drink one third of the way down the page? So unless you've got a device with some sort of connect style thing in it that's actually surveilling you to work out exactly where you are in the page, how fast you run complex mechanisms to come up with, well, you're about to hit the suspense scene, so we'll start playing creepy music. And then suddenly the telephone rings. So you put the book down, you go away for half an hour, you come back. Would you pick the music up where you left off? Would you start the music again? Either way, the effect's kind of fizzled. So I'm not, I don't, I mean, books for me are a hugely imaginative thing. I don't need the visuals and the music in the same way that you do with a film to carry the image because the book is telling me how things smell, how things look, how fast things are going, how what emotions the scene evokes in the characters. So I see these things in my head. So adding the music in is suddenly going to be adding a second thing that isn't reality to it because you're already filtering the scene through text that is going to compete. So apart from Penderecki's experiments with utter silence, some sort of white noise generator to keep out distracting noises from outside like cars and power tools, I don't think I'd want to create a soundtrack for a book because it would pull me away from the book. So, there we are. Classic politician's answer, rejecting the question. Toodles. <laughs>